out of nowhere. I don't know where they came from. An East County motorcyclist is in search of the man he says saved his life after an accident left him badly hurt. 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals the dramatic scene that played out as those men ran to his aid. This is Winter Gardens Boulevard and behind me is a very big blood stain. Also a reminder of a big thank you one man is hoping to say to a special group of strangers. Fractured ankle that had to be reconstructed. More than a week later, the pain remains, along with the reminders of Ray Estrada's motorcycle ride. Around 9 at night, he was headed home from a family gathering when he says a car hit him, clipping the front of his bike. I remember flying and uh, hitting the ground and rolling quite a few times. I brought Estrada back to the accident scene. Ended up here. Where he described what happened next, his leg in intense pain. I crawled, but I didn't make it all the way. He ended up some 15 feet from the curb. At that point, I heard somebody scream, stop, we got you. Estrada says his memory is a bit fuzzy. It was bleeding pretty bad. But he remembers four young men gathering around him. One held my left hand, one held my right hand, one cupped my head, and the other one tried to put a tourniquet on my leg. Estrada says the man used his own belt to slow the bleeding. I remember my hand hitting the ground and I started going out. They kept talking to me and they, they're just like, not today, dude. Estrada would not die on that street, a fact this Army veteran attributes to the actions of four strangers. I personally want to thank uh, those four gentlemen for, for their time and their emotion into my life. Gentlemen, he's hoping to track down. For me, the military taught me looking a man in the eyes and shaking their hand. I'm grateful. They're amazing human beings. Michael Chan, 10 News. Now, Estrada says the other driver involved also stayed at the scene. If you have any information on those good Samaritans, email us at tips at 10news.com.